we present a method for synthesizing textures on 3D objects. Large collections of texture images are provided in most image manipulation and 3D animation packages. However, using these images to texture an arbitrary shape proves to be a difficult problem. The naive approach of projecting the image onto the shape may be acceptable for a single view, but clearly does not work in general. There has been considerable research on mapping images onto surfaces while minimizing distortion. However, fully covering the surface requires introducing seams between multiple images. Another challenge is to give the user control over local orientation and scale of the texture. In this work, we propose to synthesize a texture on an arbitrary surface by repeatedly pasting features of the texture onto the surface. We begin by identifying interesting texture patches from the example texture. This is done manually using an off-the-shelf image editing package. The goal is to align the texture patch boundary with natural features in the underlying texture. We envision that this process could be fully automated using snakes or intelligent scissors. Each texture patch is a polygonal image region together with an alpha mask that falls off near the image boundary. Surprisingly, we found that a generic outline works for many textures. The orientation and scale of the synthesized texture is specified by defining a tangential vector field over the surface. A simple choice for this vector field is to project the global up direction onto the surface and then normalize the resulting tangent vector. More often, the user will want to specify this vector field manually. Our approach is to specify the vectors at a small subset of faces and then to interpolate the remaining vectors using radial basis functions. The basic step in our texture synthesis scheme is to paste a texture patch onto a random location on the surface. We select a seed face that is not fully textured and from it grow a surface patch in a greedy fashion until its predicted extent in texture space encloses the texture patch. This growth is stopped if distortion becomes excessive. Next, we optimize the parameterizations of the vertices such that both the orientation and scale of the texture match the vector field defined locally on the surface. This distortion measure can be minimized by solving a sparse linear system, so the process is very fast. After optimization, the surface patch may be grown further if it no longer encloses the texture patch. Once the parameterization is obtained, the texture patch is simply pasted onto the surface. The process is repeated until the surface is fully textured. The synthesized texture can be stored in one of two ways. The first approach is to save the parameterizations of the surface patches and perform the texture pasting at runtime. This requires very little texture memory since we reuse the same set of texture patches in all the pasting operations. Also, it produces high quality renderings since the textures are only sampled once. Runtime pasting involves ordinary rasterization operations so it can be done in real time, even on an inexpensive PC graphics card. The second approach is to construct an atlas over the surface, which maps all surface regions into a unit square domain. For this purpose, we use the same distortion optimization shown earlier. Each pasting operation can then write directly into this atlas during texture synthesis, and the resulting surface is rendered as an ordinary textured mesh. This has the advantage of producing a more traditional mesh representation, and it renders slightly faster. However, there is a degradation in quality due to resampling. This example shows the flexibility of vector field control. First, the vector field is specified with a global up direction. Now the vector field direction is adjusted. Finally, the vector field scaling is adjusted. Here we show that when the dinosaur tail is animated, the texture behaves reasonably. Solid textures in a conventional animation system would swim across the surface. We believe our scheme to be highly practical. Here it is demonstrated with a variety of surface meshes and example textures. For fine grain textures, we can use a single texture patch of a canonical shape, such as an irregular blob. Then, for a given mesh, we can reuse the pre-computed patch parameterizations and instantaneously switch between textures at runtime.
This concludes our video.